Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we will walk you through the process of managing laboratory workflows and enforcing standard operating procedures. To configure a workflow, navigate to the Application Settings module and switch to Form Configurations. Now, switch to the Samples configuration and press Configure Workflow Template. To add a new template, press Add, specify a template name and description. To associate sample types with the template, press Browse, tick one or multiple sample types, and press Select. To add steps to the workflow, press Add Step. A step number is assigned automatically to each step. Select a module, an action item, step subcategory, a type, and specify instructions, if any. To assign the step to a technician who is trained on the job, press Browse. Choose a user, press Select, and then Save. Similarly, you can add multiple steps to the workflow template. To edit a step, select it and press Edit Step. Make the required changes and press Update. To delete an existing step, select it and press Delete Step. You can delete only the last step. For each step, you can specify the next step. Select a step, press Specify Next Step, choose the next step, and press Update. For steps belonging to the Multiple Tasks category, it is mandatory to select a parallel step. This way you can open up two tasks to be performed at the same time. Additionally, for steps of the Decision category, you can define the next step based on specific conditions. For example, if the test results are approved, you can enforce Report Generation as the next step. Alternatively, if the results are rejected, you can enforce Test Result Validation as the next step. Now, press Update to add the workflow template. Press OK and then Close. To set a workflow template as a default for a sample type, select the sample type and click Edit Type. Now, press Browse. Select a template, press Select and then Update. Similarly, you can also associate a workflow template while adding a new sample type. Now, switch to the Sample Management module. Select any of the sample types with which you have associated the workflow template. To process a sample, select it and click Sample Process Workflow. Laboratory technicians can now commence the workflow according to the tasks assigned to them. Specify the start date, the completion date, and mark the status of each step. A technician can perform the step assigned to them only if the previous steps in the workflow, if any, are complete. You can select a workflow status based on the current sample processing status. Press Save and Stay to save the changes. If there are no further changes, press Save and Close. Once a workflow is marked as complete or is terminated, it cannot be edited by any user unless unlocked. To unlock, select the sample and click Unlock Sample Process Workflow. You can now make the required changes to it. The workflow management functionality enforces the laboratory staff to follow standard operating procedures as per the laboratory guidelines and to avoid missing any crucial step. Thank you for watching the video. For any suggestions or questions, please email us at support at cloudlimbs.com or call 1-302-789-0449.